today on In the Know. We're talking all about the future of the tropical storm season. Meanwhile, how can a typhoon impact us here in Canada? Meteorologist Rhythm Reet alongside me, Victoria Fen Alvarado, to talk more about these impacts. But first, let's start off with Hurricane Helene. What are we looking at right now? What is the latest update there? Well, in terms of the rainfall, luckily this system has dissipated, but these are some of the final uh, rainfall values that have come from Helene. Salem, 350 millimeters of rain over the course of two days and just north of that. And I know I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly. Busick at 781 millimeters quite astounding. Now, luckily, like I said, it has dissipated and the rain still bringing some light rain for areas like Kentucky, but finally moving out back into the Atlantic. Very impressive rainfall totals. This is not the end of the hurricane season. What do we have in store for the future of the tropical storm developments? Well, you're absolutely right. We still do have two systems that we are keeping an eye on. One, Isaac, in the northern end of the Atlantic Ocean, and the second, Joyce. Luckily for most regions, they will not be looking at a direct impact to land affecting people. But you know what, Victoria? It is so interesting. We're still in the middle of hurricane season, so I don't want people to completely forget that. We still have two areas that we are still watching. One just off the coastline of the continent of Africa, 70% chance in the next seven days of tropical development, and the second in the Utican region, and that is going to be a 50% chance. And what's so interesting about the 70% chance is as we're heading into October, a lot of our uh, uh, development for tropical storms shifts further towards the west especially in the Gulf of Mexico. So it's very interesting to see that we still do have that possibility of a tropical development that far east. Mm -hmm. There still is plenty of time. The hurricane season doesn't end until about mid-November. Now, we're talking about this typhoon just east of Japan. What does this have to do with Canada rhythm? Well, a very interesting setup for this typhoon. Now, I believe it's pronounced GB, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure someone else can correct me online, and they probably will. This uh, tropical storm is expected to stay just east of Japan, still bringing some of those winds. However, this is going to play a crucial role heading into our second week of October, just giving everyone a quick glimpse to what is to come. It's going to be affecting our jet stream, locking it in place to bring cooler shots of air across eastern Canada. So for areas like Ontario as well as Quebec, I know a lot of folks around here want to hold on to summer as long as possible, but we can be looking at some cooler air pushing across the region. However, Victoria, for the western end of Canada, this does mean that the focus of the warmth will be towards the central prairie. So they're not going to be giving up on those warmer conditions just yet, even though today on Sunday they can be looking at some cooler temperatures, a big dip coming across a lot of those regions. Rhythm, are you looking forward to sweater weather or do you want the summer to remain. I am ready for sweater weather. As you can tell by my colors, I've really transferred over. And you know what, Victoria, I just want to show you this one other graphic. When we were talking back in September, what we are looking at is those temperatures were warm above seasonal widespread across Canada. Now, I know a lot of Canadians are thinking this has been the trend right across the board for a lot of our summer as well as now into September. But we're definitely going to see that flip coming on through, especially as we're heading towards the first and the second week of October as well. So I hope people are not too comfortable with all of this heat. Can you believe it? We're just a few days away from October, and that reminds me, October 1st is our October outlook, so you're going to want to stay with us at the Weather Network and tune in on October 1st so that you can get a preview of what's in store for the month ahead.